In this video I'm going to show you how to set up and use Stratus Light Wallet in Unity 3D. Our Light Wallet for Unity 3D is a non-custodial solution, which means uh, users can hold their own private keys and use them to transact. Light Wallet supports all blockchains that Stratus supports, which are uh, Strux main, test, and Cirrus main and testnet. So first thing that you're gonna do is to set up Stratus node on a server with a static IP address. So let's go to our server and let's say we want to clone it here. So let's open git bash and clone our status repository from main branch. Okay, it's cloned. Now let's go there to the source and let's build it. So in order to build it, you need uh, to install .NET SDK uh, 3.1, .NET Core SDK, and then just build it for the release. Oh, when we've built it, we can start it. I'm gonna start it on Stratus mainnet. Uh, basically, I'm running Stratus daemon uh, .dll, and we need to supply uh, following command line arguments. Um, copy of them you will find in the video description. Basically, we need to enable transaction indexing and address indexing, and then enable Unity API. Um, also, uh, you need to run it on this uh, IP address if you want it to be, um, if you want to connect it from any remote computer. So let's run it, and node will start syncing. Uh, while it's syncing, we can uh, open a port in the firewall, So um, basically you need to create inbound and outbound rule for a port on which you want to run uh, Unity 3D API. It basically just uh, open support. Um, so default for port for Unity API is 44336, but you can specify it using uh, following command line argument. So here it is. Also, uh, here are some other arguments that you can use to modify this feature. Um, and now let's check uh, if, if it works. So first let's go to Swagger on localhost. Those are API methods um, that we will use from Unity 3D. And now Let's just wait for the node to sync. Uh, for the sake of recording this video, I have a backup of the node, so I'll just shut down the node. Ah, I already have the backup installed, so um, when you first start, it will start from zero and it will take a couple of hours to sync. Uh, but in my case, I already have a fully sync node. So now let's go and run Unity and try to connect to our API. So let's create a new project. And we will import Stratus package. Probably by the time uh, you see this video, it will be already published on Unity Store. Uh, but right now I'm just uni using Unity package file. Uh, also, just in case, a uh, link to download the Unity package file will be in the description. Okay, now we have a new Unity project and let's import our Unity package. Click import. Okay, now once it's imported, we can open an example scene and run it. Here is a simple UI that you can use to uh, test the solution. First, we will need to provide correct um, endpoint. And in my case, it's this IP address. So if you've set up uh, everything properly, when you click test, you will see that API test was successful. So what we can do right now is to 
generate a new mnemonic and once um, you satisfied with mnemonic you can also just uh, use your old mnemonic in case you already have uh, a wallet uh, created in unity uh, you can use mnemonic from your no uh, normal strux file uh, strux wallet uh, you have to create a new one so let's say we have this mnemonic we click initialize okay and here's your address which you can deposit stratus to so let's copy it and now let's go back to our server where we have a node uh, you can see that i have a default uh, wallet that i've prepared here which has uh, nine stratus so let's send from this wallet uh, to unity wallet uh, we will go to normal node api and use uh, build transaction endpoint so here it is and let's deposit 0.1 stratus to our address now we have hex and we can use it to send transaction You can also just use normal UI wallet to deposit to that address, but I'm doing it this way. So you can see that uh, now we have some unconfirmed balance. Oh, it's gone. It means that transaction was already mined. And now if we go back to Unity and refresh our balance, we can see that we have some money here. Um, so let's send some transaction to basically any address what we can uh, what we can do is send two types of transactions one is normal transaction where you supply destination address and amount you want to send and second is op return transaction which basically allows you to encode any data and post it to blockchain so let's try both of those uh, let's say i'm gonna deposit to this address and it will be 0 0.05, 05, and let's send it. Now we can see the transaction was created, and here is the transaction ID, which we can look up in the explorer. So let's open this address in the explorer and see if any transaction was created. So it will take some time for the transaction to be mined before um it will appear here typically it will be less than half a minute so let's wait and just click a five until we see it okay now we have it just confirmed so this is the transaction that we've created and basically that's pretty much it now we can the second type of transaction which is encoding any op return data so put any data here and click send okay and then again open our explorer and look for this address okay the transaction just confirmed and we can see in transaction details if we open it that we have one output uh, with op return and it has our data encoded there. So that's pretty much it. Uh, another example that you can look into is example without UI. So if you open a game object named scripts, here is a UI example and disabled uh, just code example. We can open it in Visual Studio. And here is basically uh, code that calls every API method available on Unity 3D API. And also some examples how to send normal transaction and how to send op return transaction. Um, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory, so check it out. Um, if you have any questions, you can always go to uh, Stratus Discord server and uh, then go to uh, game development channel and ask me any questions if you have any problems I'll answer you there so yes that's it
Tschüss, Ron.